Hello, this is Adam Humphreys, and I thought I would probably show my last update on the solar tractor for a while here. This is um, pretty much the complete unit. You'll see here we have the At Tiny 85, and we have the halt switches, and these will, in when they're actually functioning, uh, thanks to my friend uh, Legalized Shimp, uh, will basically be magnetic switches, which, which I think seems to be the preferred way um, of doing it based on how I'm doing it here using a resistor network and all that and uh, on the schematic and the program the Arduino sketch is in the download or in the description there's a download uh, but this is the complete circuit uh, and this back here this is nothing but a, a power supply for like a cell phone so it puts out a regulated 5 volts and right now it's hooked up to just 100, 120 volts um, from the from the wall, but it should work great at uh, 48 volts and whatnot. That's our system. It's 48 volts. If you have a like a 24 volt or 12 volt system, then uh, a linear regulator should work just fine. So <clears throat> this pretty much the final result here. So let's say we have. What well, we will have eventually a card here. And the light gets in the way. Alright, the green LED lit up. It is trying to, it is moving left right now. It's trying to move left because this is in shadow. And when it moves left, it will no longer be in shadow. And then everything will be well. <clears throat> so let's see if I can pick this up and move it around some. I have an overcast day, so it may not work that well. Okay, you can probably... Okay, see, it's in shadow. You can kind of see the shadow there. It's moving right, or excuse me, the green means it's moving left. It's moving left, so let's move it left. Okay, it stopped. Now if we keep moving left, up, oh, up, oh, we gotta move right. Oh, there we go. Move some more. Put it in shadow. Oh, we gotta move right. And normally it'll be moving right. Oh, move left. Move right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So it seems to be working exactly like it should be. Um, and you'll probably notice the code that I have running on here is still the test code where instead of every 15 minutes, it's every two seconds that it checks. And when it's night time, it thinks it or has to wait until six hours. But right now, it only waits about six seconds. <clears throat> so if it's dark for so long, ah, there we go. It's moving left. It's moving left. It's moving back to its default position to to be prepared for the dawn. <clears throat> There's the halt switches here. <clears throat> so make sure it's still dark. Halt. And it's done. It moved back to the left position all the way back. All right, now let go. A new day. There it is. <clears throat> and when the sun gets in the way here, it'll move right and it'll stop. So, it's all good. It's uh, working. Yay! Uh, the next step is the H-bridge, which will be the beefier part of it. This is the control circuit, though, um, and then everything is ready here. Uh, you can well, you can wire the header however you want to. The switches basically connect to ground, so you could just have two conductors coming out of here instead of four and two for each switch you could just have you know you would probably have a uh, <coughs> terminal strip you'd probably use a terminal strip to connect everything with that's probably what I'll do eventually so but otherwise that's it uh, that's the entire circuit I'm really happy with how small it is um, and to program it <coughs> since it's an at tiny 85 <coughs> I decided to get a nice little, uh, I can focus this right, there we go, I guess you can see that, it's just a socket, and all I did was just solder wires onto it, and there's a plug on the other side here, I can plug into my programmer, my little teensy header that I made, go right on it, I can just plug it right in, so, uh, really helpful, alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, the download link is at the bottom. Thank you very much.